All right, guys, Steve Bradshaw. Today we're going to talk about workstation IDs or device description names. These are the names that actually come up on your IBMI when you do your work active job. So what you might find is that if you're just using the defaults in ACS, that uh, when you get your session up, you see these sort of QPAD dev names at the top here. So in this case, uh, QPA dev 0001, fine. Uh, but if you wanted that to be a bit more identifiable on those uh, job listings, you can be a bit cleverer about the naming. So if you click on communication and configure, you've got this option here called workstation ID. And it's tempting just to type something in here. So yeah, hello. And you've got 10 characters. And if you click hello, it'll recreate the connection using hello, which is fine, but they have to be unique. So you try and run another one that's exactly the same so i use the same definition there and connect it will fail because hello is in use you know i would literally have to come up with a manual name that was unique for every single one that's drag you know i don't want to have to do that for every single one if anyone's curious about why this is not green on black um i don't like green on black uh, i prefer to change the colors uh, i don't mind if you want to use it but hey it's just easier on the eye so going back to how can we make that a little bit better rather than just putting a hard-coded thing in there so go back into configure this time do not fill in that field however tempting it might be in this case click on generate now you can generate names automatically based on hello so and you could say add a uh a, a uh, duplicate name protection. Okay, so if I tick those two, I would allow my device to automatically calculate names that would avoid duplicates on this workstation or with anybody else. Sorry, trying to find a hard way to say that. But if I tick those boxes, it will take a low and it will put some sort of suffix on the end there that avoids duplications on this workstation and with any other workstation. So if someone else was using hello, it would avoid clashes with theirs. So you'd always have a unique name. So you could do that and we'll say hello and change it and connect. So that's used hello and then A0. If I run the same again, if that was my base. Okay, now I've got B1. And I can even um, move through these, just have as many as I would like run the same. Okay, but what if I don't want to base it purely on a string? What if I would like it to either follow either the workstation name of the PC that I'm using. Okay. Or um, I would like it to follow the user that I'm using. So let's go back into here. Let's get rid of the hello string there. We're going to generate again. Go in there. This time I'm going to base it on the username that I'm logged into Windows with. So this is the Windows username. And again, I've still got those two boxes uh, that are uh, being ticked so that I get my unique name all right so in this case i'm logged in as admin uh, underscore steve b so what it's done is it's taken the right hand side of that and it says taken the m underscore steve b and then put the a0 on the end so that can work quite well or you could choose to use it based on the workstation name if you've got sort of punchy pc workstation name so that's the the name of this windows computer that i am running at the moment uh, instead of that, then I would get. So I've actually got underscores in my name and it's changed this to hashes. So mine's a yoga. And you can see this the first part of that, which is the Roten part, and then uh, SB and yoga three, and then A0. And if I was to run it again, I get unique names. Right, so B0. So what have we learned? Underneath communication and configure, if you want to have different names, use the generate button. You can specify a particular string, okay? You can use the Windows username and you can use the device username. These top two are useful if you're deploying a single configuration across multiple workstations. So let's say this was your policy across the domain, always use the workstation name of the PC. So it might be, if your company was called Acme, Acme001, Acme002, you would do that and it would put the suffixes on there. Make sure you've got these two ticked here. Okay, and uh, you can even put a prefix on to say whether it's a uh, display or a printer, but typically we're just talking about um, displays in this one, printers perhaps another time. Okay, now I would like you not to confuse that, just for extra credit now, with the actual name at the top here. 
or the names you see drifting across here. They're just like the, the B session. Let me just go there and you can see that A session there. Um, if you want to change those, you click on edit and um, preferences and then appearance and then window setup. Edit preferences, appearance, window setup. And you'll see I've got the tick for the short name. So I've got my A and then I've got a tick for the session name. If I wanted to change that to actually the workstation ID to match what we've just done, okay, uh, then I tick that box down there. You can see the one that says workstation ID. And now at the top there, it's got that YOG name. Let's just go back to, back to my hello one again. Um, so that'll fit in more nicely up there. So you see my hello there. Let's run the same. So I've got my hello A0 and my hello B0. Okay, so that then matches the, the names here. If you like extra the things to match, that can be quite nice. Listen, I hope you found that useful. If you've got any other things that you'd like me to explain, talk about, uh, ruminate upon, uh, then just let me know. But for now, TTFN, I hope to speak to you soon.